All right, guys, today on our SRS segment, we have a special guest, Matt Walker. How we doing, bro? Doing great, man. How are you doing? I'm doing great, dude. Thanks for joining us. Um, you know, this is something that I've really learned to enjoy doing. Like, I, I'll be straight up. I didn't do a lot of simple retirement products when, when I was in the field. Um, I wrote, you know, a handful of annuities, handful of IULs. I didn't know what infinite banking was until like yesterday. Um, but but I'm really starting to enjoy this piece because it, it's helping. You know, I've got a lot of feedback from some agents that been, and it's just helping like simplify this whole process because for so long, we thought of this as just so advanced and you got to get to a certain point to get there. And it's like, you, you really don't because of the tools and systems we have in place, right? And But it's like, I'm a construction guy, dude. So a tool is only as good as the person who's using it, right? Like I could give you a nail gun right now, Matt, that doesn't make you a framer. <laughs> it doesn't mean you can go build a house. <laughs> in fact, you're going to have to use it. You got to plug it into a hose. You need a compressor. You're going to need a nail gun. That's before you... And then you, outside of that, you have to know how to build the wall, right? So the, the tools are only as good as what you do, what you learn about them, and then how you use them, you know, for yourself or whatnot. So that this is a tool. And then our goal here, you know, week in and week out is to help you understand how to use this tool, how to use the, the simple retirement solutions, the whole division, the different products. So Matt Walker has been one of our biggest annuity producers for a number of years now, Hall of Fame several times. Um, and today we're, we're going to talk about a couple things, few concepts. One is just the, the trust that it takes, how to develop that rapport and, and get your client to trust you enough to even have this conversation about these these retirement solutions. And then the other big piece is, you know, I think be, because our life insurance is a one time close, Matt, I think sometimes agents think that the annuity, like everything should be done at that one appointment. And then they try to, it's like you try to stuff too much things into the bag and the bag breaks, right? Like it's just, you know, like those new paper bags they use. Well, I don't know about in Florida, but in, in up here, can't use plastic bags anymore. Although you can buy all types of plastic products, <laughs> you just can't use the bag. And then they have these paper bags that are like half as thin as, as thick as they used to be. So you put three things in them and they break. It's kind of like that though. You try to stuff everything in this one appointment, it's going to bust. It, it's it's not going to work. So it's a it's a two time or two sit close for the the simple retirement solution. By all means, your life insurance, your bread and butter, your um, mortgage protection, your final expense. That's a one time close. We don't go back. But the annuity, the IUL, the infinite banking, there, there's more to this process. So today we're talking about that. So, dude, thanks for joining us. Um, and if you could just start with the the whole trust piece like that, yeah. what type of rapport are you building? So, you're, you know, you're in your your normal appointment right you're out there for mortgage protection you're out there for final expense well, what are some things you need to make sure you do to gain this client's trust so we then can talk about these other products because it's a bigger deal like the the they fill out the form for the mortgage and the final expense you already know they need it this is something that we're digging it we're uncovering right and and it's it's not what they asked for so there is a little bit more of a, a trust that needs to be built right so if you could talk to that a little bit matt that'd be great Absolutely, Mike. And uh, thanks again for having me on. Yeah, trust tr trust is incredibly important. I think one of the things to really understand, you know, and, and even when you're selling life insurance, right? We talk about this all the time, you know, with agents selling life insurance. You know, the the, the mindset, knowing the mindset of of our clients, right? So we we are servicing middle income America. That 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 is our bread and butter clientele, and I think this, it's very important to understand the mindset behind middle income America. You know, one of the things I've always I've always learned dealing with middle-income America and, and learning from, you know, when I first got into the industry is that middle-income America is, is, is a very guarded population. So that's that's mm -hmm. the first, I think that's the first thing that you really have to, you have to understand, um, you know, go, going into to, to, to selling life insurance or, or, or uh, you know, whether it's an IUL, a fixed index annuity, you, you have to understand that we're, we're dealing with a guarded population. They're very good at knowing if someone's really truly out for their best interest or not. Or, or not. They can tell if someone's being genuine or disingenuine. It's, it's not hard for them. Um, and so that's really important. You know, the, 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 the end all be all answer to, to getting folks to trust you is is to really truly care about them i mean that's the that's yeah. the end all be all answer and sometimes that can be difficult to when you're first getting in the industry money's tight you're just not really you're, you're trying to navigate your you've got you've got adult bills <clears throat> and you're just trying to navigate how to figure this thing out and so sometimes it's hard you know it's hard for people to really truly 
you know, I mean, I'll, I'll be honest. I mean, there's times when I first started, I needed to make money and I would say, well, man, you know, um, you know, as long as you know, this is, this is going to be pretty good for you, know, this is going to be good for the client, you know, and, and but, but I, I need to make, I need to get my, I need to make money. Otherwise I'm going to be out of business. And so, but when you operate from that standpoint, when it's not truly 110% about the client, um, it makes it hard to be authentic. And when, yeah. and when you don't have that authenticity, it's also hard to be to be trusted that that comes out in in your presentation, whether you're selling life insurance, mortgage protection, final expense, or or fixed index annuities, or or in, you know it does it doesn't matter what it is. And so um, you know, just talking about you know, now, as a new agent, I think, and you hit the nail on the head. You don't have to be, and, and the reason why we changed it to simple retirement solutions is you don't have to be. This the whole point of this is to keep it really simple. You know, mm-hmm. there's this there's this there's this false idea that you have to know everything about everything to sell to sell an annuity. I mean, is there a little bit more to it? Yeah, but but there's more to it in the sense of you're you're from a trust standpoint, you are asking a client that you just met, uh, you're you're getting them to trust you enough, build enough rapport and trust you enough to literally, literally trust you, someone that they just met with 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 their with their nest egg, right? right. This is a uh, you know, someone that's been working at, you know, whatever it is, you know, your teacher, you know, teacher, you know, law enforcement, firefighter, you know, uh, construction, whatever it is, uh, corporate America. Uh, these are people that have been, you know, they've been working their whole life to save for their retirement. And and so they're very protective um, of what they have, whether it's a hundred, two, three, four, five hundred thousand, whatever they have set aside. They're they're very protective of that. And um, so that's the first and foremost, you have to back to back to my first my first comments was, you know, you have to really understand the psychology and the mindset behind middle income America. So um, having that understanding is going to be the key to unlocking some more doors in terms of getting them to trust you. So so that's, you know, knowledge is power. Right. So so having that first understanding is really key Um, when I when I go into the home, um, I'm, I'm building that initial report. You know, um, whether I sell them life insurance or not, whether I'm, the, you know, I'm there to sell final expense or mortgage protection or, or whatever the, you know, whatever the appointment's for, I'm always going to come back to, back to that question. I'm going to come back to that golden question. And, and, and there's there's times where, you know, there's times where I've sold clients where I knew right off the bat, you know, I'm sitting with a client who's 68, 70, 72 years old, and they've got COPD and they've got a decent sized mortgage and, you know, $40,000, you know, final expense policy at $400 a month or whatever it is, just, it's just not going to be something that, that makes sense for them. And, um, you know, if, if you're using your financial inventory sheet, which everybody has access to everybody, every agency within family first life has some variation of a financial inventory sheet that everybody's using and taking into the home with them, you know, you're going to figure out pretty quickly if it's something that makes sense. And when you ask that golden question, what do you have that acts like life insurance? It should be, um, you know, after you've spent the time, after you've, you've built the rapport, after you've shown the client that, hey, I'm just a regular guy and, and, I'm, and I'm, I'm genuinely, I'm, I'm trying to be a problem solver, you know, whether it's with life insurance or something else, I, I'm, I'm listening. I want to be an ambassador for them. I want to solve whatever issues they have, whether it's, it, it might, it might, I mean, there's been times I've gone in the home and I, I had some old lady, you know, older lady that, that was paying 200 something dollars a month on her cable bill. I'm like, dude, I'm like, I'm thinking to myself. Man, like if we just get this lady hooked up with uh, with the fire stick, you know, and, and, and cut that bill, she could pay for the life insurance. So um, just having that being an ambassador for people, yeah. not just not just there to sell a policy, but being an ambassador, generally trying to help put them in a better situation in life, period. Right. Because yeah. a lot of these folks don't they don't have people that are advocating for them. And luckily, you know, in the business that we're in, in the industry that we're in, we have a lot of. You know, whether we've been in business before or you've got a really good mentor, someone like Sean, you, Mike, Eric, you know, Frank, you feel I mean, whoever, whoever, whoever it is, um, you know, we've we've learned a lot about about business and in life. And we why wouldn't we why wouldn't we share that? Right. You know, think about the things that you think about, the, the valuable things that you've learned from Sean, Mike over the years. Yeah. Mike, like why would it why, why wouldn't you take that that knowledge? Why wouldn't you take that knowledge and share it with other people? And so. Uh, kind of the same way when I go and meet with clients, you know, I, I, I have now acquired this knowledge of, you know, um, I mean, I'm, I'm not even close to having it figured out yet. I mean, I'm 35, but 
my wife stayed home. She hasn't been working the last five years. Money's pretty good. Living a nice home. Like kids, everything's everything's good. Like I've uh, you know I've I've learned a lot, and and I want to share that. I want to share that with people and, and and help people. So if you go in with that mindset, you understand the mindset of the clientele. There, you know, you understand their psychology, what their mindset is, and then you go in with that mindset of I'm going to be an ambassador and really try to put them in a better situation just period end of sentence not just in in life insurance but i'm just going to try to put them in a better place than where i found them period yeah like talking about like god's kingdom type stuff you know what i mean right like, i want to put them in a better situation period and then dude they they love like they they're just when they know that you're someone that's truly genuine and, and you can do the, the great news is when you start when you start when you start lining your mindset up like that now they're like do they 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 you create this you create this 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 trust that is just so they they just genuinely want to work with you and you don't you don't have to know everything you you can right. literally tell them at that point i you can literally tell them i'm going to be honest with you tom like i'm here to put you in a better situation i'm this is my lane over here i'm really good at selling life insurance i'm really good at selling or, or if you're new at selling life insurance like this is I'm, like you don't have to say i've been doing this for seven years like i'm relatively new to the industry but I'm going to tell you one thing. I work with 25 carriers. Um, I, one thing I will promise you is I'm going to leave you in a better place than where I found you. When I, when I, so when I leave here today, that is, that is my goal. So I'm going to put you, my goal is to put you and your family in a better spot. And when they know that, you know, it's okay to say, hey, I'm going to be honest. I don't know everything there is to know about, um, about retirement. Um, however, I work with some I work with some people that have been doing this much longer than I have that are experts at what they do at their craft. And so, uh, so if I have any questions, I'm going to go ahead and, and, and utilize them and make sure that we're putting you and your family in the best best uh, position possible. So I think once you've gone through that financial inventory, once you've built that rapport, you've built that initial trust. People, the people genuinely know, like this guy's he's really out for me. You present well, right? Like don't go in there, you know, <clears throat> you know. I, I don't want to sound discriminatory. Or I, I love everybody, by the way, but. You know, if, if you got to, it, it might be hard to get someone to trust you with their five, five four, five hundred thousand dollars if you have a tattoo on your head, you know, like, or like, I'm, you know, I'm, 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 so I'm just saying, like, or you, you know, or you have, you know, your, your stuff is, you know, your, you, you know, your shirt's untucked and you just, you just look like, you know, you, you, you look like you just rolled out of bed. So you really want to, um, you, you want to present well. Yeah. Um, cause that's, it's just, it's, dude, it's, it's another level of, Life insurance is one thing, but someone trusting you with their nest egg, it's, it's another level, yeah, you know? And, absolutely. Uh, doesn't mean you need to go in with a three-piece suit, but, dude, like, you want to you, you wanna, you wanna have a, a degree of professionalism. Yeah, you look the part. You look the part. Exactly, exactly right. And um, so once you've, once you've gone through that financial inventory sheet, uh, you, you've either, you've either decided, you know, they, they either decide to, uh, get a life insurance policy. You decide that this, you know, moving forward with a life insurance policy for the client is going to be a good fit. Whether it's a good fit or not, you have that initial information on that financial inventory sheet. You, you have at this point would have gotten what they have in their 401k, IRA, mutual fund, whatever, whatever they have that acts like life insurance. Um, you can now circle back, circle back, and, and um, you know, hey Tom, you know, hey Tom, I noticed you said you had three hundred thousand in that, you know, in your 401k. You know, I always use I always use this line. You know, if if um, you know, obviously, there's some, there's a lot of there's a lot of crazy stuff happening in this world. I mean, with the banks and everything else. Um, I mean that. I mean, being up to date on what's going on in the world, yeah. like, is pretty important too. Yeah. It's because these people watch the news every day. So you know, using that um, to to help is 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 crucial. But you know, obviously, with all the, all this stuff going on with the banks, and you know, um, if something were to happen, if something crazy, drastic were to happen tomorrow, you know, how much of that three hundred thousand could you afford to lose? You know, and then you just start, and then you just start having the you just start having the conversation. And sometimes you'll find that the clients going to be an open book. You know, they'll just start spewing everything. And they, they'll start talking about how worried they are, and they don't know what to do. And then, and then, boom, or or they might be a little bit more guarded, like we talked about earlier. And you gotta you gotta peel back a couple layers and, yeah. and just continue to ask continue to ask them questions. Um, and then, um, you know, and then at that point, it's it's pretty at that point it's pretty simple. Um, get to simple retirement solutions, right? So right. once you have that information, um, there's some other information that would be very helpful for us to have, um, you know, getting, 
what their uh, obviously their income, which is on that, which is on your your standard financial inventory sheets, what their income is, what their discretionary income is, if they're married, if they're retired, or if they are planning on retiring, when that when that date's going to be, what's their what are their expenses, what are their overall expenses, when they retire, will there be a change in those expenses? Will those expenses be the same? Is there going to be an income gap when they retire? Are they going to have? Uh, is there going to be a a, a pension? Is it just? Is, uh, are they just going to have Social Security? Is one spouse going to have a pension? The other, just Social Security? I, I, I we need to have all that information. What's their health? You should have that based on the, the, the standard financial inventory sheet. What their health is like? What their longevity is like? Uh, what their goals are? You know, if you've had that, if, if they were an open enough book to to, to disclose some of their concerns with retirement and the craziness, the volatility of the market in this world. And, um, you know, what they're, you know, if we, if you could get kind of a handle on what their financial, you know, what their goals are, if you can get that far, um, you know, if, if we have all that, if we have all that information, um, you know, at that point, and at that point, it's just, you know, your, your, the transition should be, once you have all that information, the transition is, you know, Hey, you know, Hey Tom, um, as I mentioned earlier, you know, I've been selling life insurance for a while. I'm really good at this space right here. But I have some people that have been doing this for much longer. They're doing some really amazing things. They're doing some great things in terms of protecting people's retirement, making sure they don't have any, you know, they don't have any worries with all the craziness going on in the world. And, um, I, I, you know, with your permission, I'd love to be able to get this information over to them. Um, if it's too, if you're sitting with them at Tuesday, your appointment was at Tuesday at five. Hey, Tom, and I'm going to be back this way uh, Friday. Uh, this Friday and, and and next Tuesday about the same time. What what's better What's better for you and, and Mary? And then just book that appointment. You know, mm -hmm. book that second appointment. After that, you have you have the information that you need to relate to our team. You have that second appointment in hand. The, the chances of you closing an annuity at that point just went up drastically. Yeah, drastically. And um, it's like that's why I was saying like when I was when I was presenting at a convention, I'm like. Honestly, I was like, man, if, if I could just say one thing, I'm like, all right, if, like if I had 30 seconds to present, I'd be like, all right, guys, um, get your fill out your financial inventory sheet and get it, get it to the, get it to SRS. Yeah, I'm out. Like that's, <laughs> but I mean, seriously, right. you've got. I mean, look, I mean, look at the people that you got. I mean, you got Brad. You know, you got Brad Allen who writes more. You got, I mean, Brad, David, Spence, Danielle, Jesse. I mean, uh, like. You've got people that that are that that are really really good. Yeah, and they know what they're doing. Did I leave somebody out? I hope I didn't leave somebody out. Um, he's, there's Danielle. There's Brad. There's David. There's Jesse. There's you. There is Spencer. Yep, who's actually coming up here? Um, he'll be on on SRS in a couple of weeks. And you know, a couple of things right. I, I want to point out that you said one of the things that I think is so big is booking that second appointment right there on the spot, right? Like I didn't even think like I, I've written a handful back in the day and I never did that. And there's definitely some Matt where I've taken statements, I've gotten info and I never got back in the house. And I'm like, God, that is, that's so key because you're there. You got all their information. Hopefully you just helped them. I mean, nine times out of 10, you just helped them out with a policy, right? You know that they're home Tuesday at five because you're there Tuesday at five. And I love, it's just like, dude, I'll be out here next week or Friday. What's up? Like, let's book it before you even get the information back. And, and I agree. That's going to increase your, your closing, you know, rate so high because it's now it's real. And it's not just a, hey, give me this. I'll get back to you at some point. Then they can keep pushing you off. Then, you know, you leave the house. It's not on fresh on their mind anymore. It's just why we don't. It's the same reason why we don't go back after, you know, for life insurance. We don't, you know, start half the app and come back a week later. But I think booking that right there on the spot is so huge. I wanted to point that out. And then I had a, a question for you. So in the beginning, when you were talking about your trust, you know, building the rapport and, and getting clients to trust you, you mentioned that early on. And, and I think that what you said, I think a lot of agents go through, right? Because let's be honest, agents don't come here independently wealthy. Like, you know, if you yeah. if you're already financially secure, you're not going, you know what I'm going to do, man, I'm gonna get into sales. Like, no, that's you're, you're, you probably got you're, you're, you got it all figured out already. Congratulations. That's not who's coming to work here. People are coming to work here because a lot of times they're in a bad financial position. They're trying to get out of what now they're trying to make, trying to work their way out of a full time job, whatever the case may be. I mean, like when you started, you were a personal trainer. 
you you didn't come here because you're like, dude, I'm I'm independent, wealthy, and I just want to see what you guys have going on. You're like, no, dude, I'm doing this personal training, bust my ass doing this, and the hours that I'm putting in and what I'm making from it, it just ain't adding up. So, yeah. and then you worked your way out of it. You didn't quit day one, you know. Um, so, it, talk to me just a little bit about that piece. Like, so when you in the beginning, you said you were you weren't really focused on the, you were more focused on, I got to make money. Right. And it, I don't think it wasn't that you didn't care about people. Cause I don't, you can't all of a sudden start caring about people. <laughs> it's just order of importance at that time was like me, then yeah. them right now. There's some people, and these are people who some of y'all might be watching who won't make it where it's like, I don't care about the client. It's all about me. That doesn't work here. I don't think that works in any in, in type of sale. I mean, I'm sure there's, there's some stuff that you can sell where they don't really need where maybe that works, but products like this, where you're changing someone's life, I don't think that works, you know? So I, I guess what my question for you is when, how did you notice that that was an issue? And then what did you do to change that? Uh, yeah, it's a it's a it's a really good it's a really good question. I, every I, once in a while, I got one, bro. I try it. <laughs> you know? I mean, dude, you've been doing. Dude, you, I mean, don't be modest, Mike. You've been doing this for a while. You're you're pretty good at what you do. Um, Appreciate that. But uh, yeah, no problem. Um, yeah, that's a. The, I mean, so to your point and what we we're talking about earlier, when you come into this thing, yeah, you're not. You're definitely not independently wealthy. You need to make money. You have a family, and so. It's really easy, you know, it's easy to fall into that trap of like, hey, you know, as long as I'm, you know, I would, I would say things like, man, like, you know, as long, you know, I'm here. Um, if I hadn't been here, I would have never, you know, they would have never otherwise gotten this. Yeah. Um, so like we start telling our speech because at the end of the day, then we start saying, well, well, you know, if I, I can't, if I, if I don't help myself, I can't help more, I can't help more people. Right. So we have that, we, you know, we, we get that mindset of like, you know, I got to eat, my family's got to eat and, and, you know, and it's not, it's not, it's not awful. you like, so, I mean, I was there, so I can't. Right. Man, is that wrong? I want to take care I, of your family. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying, no, I'm just, I'm just saying like when you're, uh, when you go in there and you're, and you're not truly a hundred thousand percent, like putting them over everything like when you when you do finally figure that out dude it took me a long time to to to, to get to that that point yeah and um it, it's truly 110 percent about just solving their problem the rest of it dude, the, the the rest of it takes care of itself and wh wh i mean when i mean um you know i guess it'd be i guess it'd be it'd be too easy to say once my financial situation got a lot better right because that's kind of like yeah it's kind of like a cop out right right um you know I, I, i'll be i'll be i'll be 100 percent honest you know for, for for me it didn't really truly 100 to 10 percent change you know until um in, until i 100 percent got right with god wow yeah um, and that's i don't know if i'm allowed to say that or, or whatnot but that's that but but you asked me the question, yeah no hey that's, that's your answer bro you're allowed to give your answer <laughs> Yeah, that's a hundred percent. That's a hundred percent my honest, my honest truth, and 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 just and just what it is. My whole yeah. life changed immensely when when that happened, and um, and uh, yeah, that's yeah. that's really it. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, hey, and whatever your deal is, whether it's you know God, whatever your religion, you don't believe, but that, that you still you have to get to that point where that client comes first, right? And and. For your, you know, we talk so much about serving, right? I mean, you mentioned God, by the serving's a big deal, and that's essentially what we do. Not essentially, it is what we do. When you do it the right way, we're serving clients. We're not. It's like I, I it's yeah, we're in sales, but it's almost a disservice to call it sales because they're requesting something, and we're doing a service. So, it, and it's that whole what you put out, you get back, right? So you're putting clients in better financial positions. And then by doing that, you're going to put yourself in a better financial position. It's just like you just change the focus, right? It's like the way these cameras set exactly. up. Exactly. This just change the focus. Exactly. That's I all. I want to get my words. Yeah, I don't want my words twisted. So, so that's exactly. No matter what you're helping them, it's just like you said. When you change that focus as to really why, right? No matter what, you put them in a plan. You put them in a, pol a, a life insurance policy. You, you, no matter what, you put them in a better situation. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely but when you when you're doing it when that. When you're truly doing it for the <laughs> right reason, absolutely. You know, that, that, that's when it all changes. Yep, dude. It's like one of these cameras in here, though. You, I, you can you can zoom in on this one. This little sticky note, right? 
and all you're seeing is that. But the minute you zoom out, you're like, oh crap, there's all this other stuff here. There's equipment, there's people. And, and that's all, it's like in the beginning, you're so hyper-focused, you're zoomed in on yourself, and then you take a step back and go, oh, wait a minute, it's about them. And if I put them first, then I will put them in a better position and then myself. And it's, and I seen it, I, re, I remember it's like you're, and then your numbers went up. Like it was, all, I mean, you were never bad in the field, but it, I think early on it was a little bit of this. And then I remember it was just like out of nowhere. I'm like, oh shit, he's like literally tearing the, the you know, the seams off this thing. Like, you know, hall of fame year after year after year, annuities, big vault. And, and it just, it, it, to me, you know, from my perspective, it looked like it happened like this. I'm sure it didn't, but, but I remember when that took place, but, um, but I it's, it, that's the, the key, man. The the transfer, the transformation will never be complete. No, but, you know, when, you, you know what I mean? We're trying to get better every day. Absolutely. But, I mean, when you get, I, I'll just say, man, it's like when you get that right, like a lot of things happen, it opens up a lot of doors. You, you become a better listener. Yeah. You, be, you know, talk about being an ambassador, you become a better listener. Well, you become a lot better listener. You, you gain a lot more knowledge. You Absolutely. gain a lot more knowledge. You have the keys to, to solve more problems. Right. And, and when it stems from there, it's, the rest of it's all over. Yeah, and that's so key because if you ain't listening to home, you're not even going to notice these annuity, these simple retirement solutions. It's like you get so hyper focused on just the, the the life insurance, and then you're gone. But yeah, you become a better listener. Become, and I, I love that the be an ambassador. We used to say become their guy, but I like that even more. Be an ambassador for the client, you know. And and we have the the, the proper tools here to help them. You just got to be that ambassador and learn how to use the tools. So, well, dude, I appreciate Absolutely. you doing this. This was awesome. Good stuff. I appreciate you having me. And, yep. and anytime I can help, I hope. I hope that there was a lot of new agents out there. I, I mean, what wasn't that long ago? I was a new agent, struggling, and um, I, you know, I think I think what we're doing is really is really strong. And I think from a, um, I love the fact that that Sean and FFL were, were were pushing a little bit more and making it and simplifying it more, even even more importantly, because I think the sustainability of it, yeah, you know, especially for agents, if we can get this this if we can get the simplicity of it. To sink in, right? The sustainability for for agents in the is is dude, it's it's going to be astronomically higher. Absolutely, so no doubt. Well, thanks again, dude. And guys, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Shoot us some emails. Let us know. We'll answer them on here next week. I appreciate you guys joining and 